Hey everyone, it's me again, Brittany, and I'm here today with a really, really exciting video. So as most of you probably know, I actually just moved and I've just been in the process of getting everything moved in. But the one thing that I really, 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 really was excited about was getting to reorganize my shelves. I have been meaning to kind of just rearrange how they look, make new space and have the space to be able to grow my collection. And this was the perfect opportunity for it. You are currently getting a little sneak peek of what's in store in the video. It was a little bit of a process. It took a few days, but I overall am really, really happy with how it turned out. I love the colors of it all. I did want to kind of explain like in the very beginning that what I kind of wanted to do with it was focus the lighter colors in the middle. So I tried to make the top two and the bottom two shelves the dark areas and made the middle two the lighter books. And I actually really think it turned out pretty well. And I even ended up having space in a couple of the shelves. I did film the whole process and I mean the lighting's not the best. It was all done at night so I am sorry about that aspect but I hope that you guys still really enjoy it. I did also kind of film a little reel of what it looks like at the very end and I'm really proud of it. So yeah and I always love watching like reorganization style videos. I think that it's so satisfying to be able to watch someone in like 20 times speed just clean and organize their space because it's just such a good process and you know sometimes I don't want to take the time to organize something so I'll just watch someone else organize something so if that's what you're doing here that's awesome me too I do the same I also did want to mention that throughout the process I do have just clips of me actually talking to the camera and letting you know what's going on and my thought process behind it all because trust me this is probably one of the most difficult organizations I ever did just because I was changing up so many things and I wanted to clear up space and there was just a lot of back and forth and and it obviously needs to be clarified. So I will be talking to you guys throughout it and I hope that that's cool. So um, yeah, it's a little bit more of like a vlog. Other than that, I don't really have much more to say. So let's kind of just jump into the video and I hope you enjoy. <laughs>
So I was in desperate need of a break from the reorganization. I've done three shelves and you can't see any of them. I brought Luna into the room and she's inspecting things right now and I've Wait, where'd my... I had a wrap and I was supposed to eat it. I don't know where it went. Everyone is bullying Luna. <laughs> the boys all say that she's chunky and short and she's like normal sized. Her legs are just kind of short and it's rude. She wants out now. Come on, baby girl. You want out? We love seeing the mess. Do you want out, baby girl? Yeah? Okay. Do you think my wrap's out here? What baby doll? Oh, there's my wrap. Thank goodness. It's coming undone, but it's actually super, super delicious. It's like turkey and spinach and green salsa. Mm. Oh, letting you know. So as far as like the audiobook that I've been listening to, I did show you guys a glimpse. It is City of Bones. I've just been in such a shadow hunter like audiobook mood and I don't want to listen to the Infernal Devices because I really want to physically read that. So after I finished all the short story collections that there were, I decided to start City of Bones on audio and actually I'm not hating it. I kind of like the voices. It's really like reminiscent of something else for me. I think maybe this person that's voicing it might have voiced one of the other short story collections, which makes sense. There's tons of voices for the short story collections because different short stories have different narrators. So I am enjoying it though overall, which is really cool. And then if I finish that and I'm not like in the like mood to jump straight into City of Ashes, I'm probably gonna start Even the Darkest Stars. Seeing as how doing those three shelves took me three almost three hours. I think it's safe to say I'll probably need multiple audiobooks for this journey. So yeah, I took a nap though today before starting this reorganization. So even though it's dark and nighttime now, I'm probably gonna end up being up most of the night doing this because who needs a circadian rhythm, am I right? Oh, Luna's back. Hi, bug. By the way, this is the hordes of books that I have to get into my shelves. Just to, I mean, since we're taking a break, I wanted to let you know, I did want to make like the tops of my shelves pretty dark overall. I think that it's going to look really cool, but I want, I just want like a more, a larger focus on color in these ones uh, than I used to have. I just want it to like blend a little bit better together. Like I still want everything to be organized by genre, but also a little bit by color. So we'll see how this ends up looking. I just definitely want to change and yeah. Hi, Reese. How you doing? How you living, Reese? Hi, Bug. Are you gonna help me reorganize my shelves now that you know I'm in here? Maybe? Where's your brother? <laughs> He's somewhere out there. Okay. Bye. I'm gonna eat my food, potentially either watch like a YouTube video or listen to the audiobook while I'm doing that, and then we'll start this all back up. This is fun. We're having fun. I'm having a great time. So we're starting back up and Luna is in the room with us, which is great. She's over by the door right now though. She might want to be let out. We'll see. But we're gonna start on this shelf. So let's do it. Okay, so everything looks a little bit different right now. I took a mini break from filming and organizing to actually line up all of the books by genre, by color, not by color, sorry, by height, so that I can actually see it a little bit better and know what I'm doing and which ones are going to look better in what places. So that's why that looks like that, but trust me, that's not where they're gonna go. That's just what I did for the moment. So these next three, this line are what I'm gonna be working on and I think I'm also making them pretty dark just like the top layer because when I film I normally film sitting down so the bottom parts should be the brightest I think I don't know we'll see but I, I thought I'd let you know so let me turn back on 
the audiobook. I am on chapter 18 of 28, so we're going strong, and it is almost midnight. Hopefully we finish by tonight. So I thought Luna had left because she hasn't been in her little corner for a while but while I was reorganizing the books. I saw her in her little house. She sometimes sleeps in there, but not often. But I wanted to have it in here just in case she ever wanted to hang out with me and have a comfy place to go. I literally love this for us.
so I have my tea. I keep rearranging things and honestly I'm not pleased yet with it and like seeing all the books that I still have to put into the shelves. So I think that I am actually going to call it quit for tonight and then we'll get back to this tomorrow because it is really late or really early depending on how you look at it. So let's take a break. Welcome to day two of organizing. My hair is still in the braids. I haven't let them out to get all crimpy yet. Maybe at the end of this, but I am kind of in a weird spot right now just because technically I don't have the space that I would like in my shelves for what I would want to do with them. So I do have to get another one of the short bookshelves and put it right next to the other one and that's gonna eventually be something that's integrated but Ikea is closed right now just because with everything going on, obviously. So I am gonna have to wait on that. So for now, I'm just gonna kind of be shoving in the books wherever they may fit. I'm still gonna be overall pretty happy with how it looks. It's just obviously not gonna be what I imagined, I guess, originally. So yeah, let's kind of get started on that. I'm gonna keep listening to City of Ashes and then we can move forward, I guess. Let's get in. wasn't recording that entire time. Okay. Anyways, as an explanation, you guys technically saw me finish just now and I was done, but there's still like a few books just on the ground, quite a few books just on the ground that didn't have any space on my shelves. But when I was looking through them, I was like, are these books that I necessarily need on my shelves? And when the answer was no, I remembered that there's a ton of shelf space outside of my room that it's like in the living room and in the like second living room room kind of area. So I was organizing books into there which I think ended up looking pretty cool and I took some books out of these shelves and it left space to be able to kind of mess around with what I already have going on. So we definitely have some spaces again in the shelves and now it's just more about playing some book Tetris and seeing what looks best because when I was like Stepping back and staring at my shelves, I just wasn't pleased with it and I don't want to have to rely on that second shelf that I will eventually get. Like this is the reorganization. I need to be fond of my shelves when I'm done with this. So time to play Book Tetris.
right, so that's gonna be it for this video today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the reorganization. And let me know if you guys think I succeeded. It's kind of hard to be able to pull a lot of light out of a lot of shelves when I own so many dark books. Fantasy is just almost always dark. I think I did the best with what I have, but let me know. I mean, is this color scheme screaming to you? Is it is it working? I don't know. I hope that you might have gotten some ideas. Let me know if you actually liked that I used less knickknacks than I previously had been using. I've kind of been in this weird place of like not wanting a lot of clutter on my shelves and wanting it to just be books, but also still really enjoying certain knickknacks that I have accumulated. So yeah, let me know how you feel about that. If you're a knickknacky person or if you're like a bare shelf kind of person, I would love to know. Yeah, that's gonna be it for this video today, guys. Again, thank you so so, so much for watching. I love you so, so much. I hope you're staying very safe and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.